This is an oven fried rosemary chicken. Super, super easy. Uh, first, I'm going to, of course, spray my pan. And I'm gonna use a little bit more chicken than uh, what you will at home. We'll do it two different ways. All right, this is super easy. Um, most of the things you have on hand, um, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out, then I'm gonna cut the chicken. We're gonna kind of butterfly the chicken. Um, first of all, we take a fourth a cup of flour. Everybody has flour at home. And you can be sparingly or not. It doesn't really matter with that item. Then we're going to take all these goodies. We're going to take our seasoning salt. And it's one and a half teaspoons. And you can add a little more, a little less. Most of my recipes, as most of y'all know, you can, you can play around with just a little bit. It's nothing exact. All right. And then a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. My daughter got brought enough chicken, I think, to feed an army. And then we have two, 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 one and a half teaspoons of rosemary. Now, you could either use this kind of rosemary that's already seeded and, and cut up, or you can use fresh rosemary. Fresh rosemary is always wonderful. Uh, this is available in our produce department, and this is available on our spice aisle. Uh, rosemary is a great thing to have. If you, I've got fresh rosemary at home, and it's always a delight to anything that you fix, especially poultry. Uh, it just really brings out the flavor of poultry. And I love, love rosemary, <laughs> as you can tell. Yes, lemons and rosemary, can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna kinda mix that up just a little bit. And this is what we are going to dredge our chicken in. All right. Now, it calls for one quarter pounds of boneless uh, chicken breast or thighs. Um, that's a great thing. Uh, a lot of people like thighs because it is a dark meat and it is juicier. Um, that's totally on your preference. Um, it, do, it, it is a tastier piece of chicken. I do not prefer thighs, but <laughs> so we're having boneless skinless chicken breast. Um, but um, I usually use our Gerber chicken. I don't know if y'all are familiar with it. Uh, we have our Food City Fresh Chicken, which is an excellent chicken. But this is our Gerber chicken. It's raised on Amish farms in Ohio. Um, it's a wonderful chicken breast. These chickens are young chickens, so the, it, the meat tends to be a little bit more tender and there's less uh, tender, uh, in the tenderloin, it tends to be less gristle, a little bit of gristle sometimes you get. You don't have that in the Gerber chicken breast. So it's always an excellent choice. Sometimes it uh, costs a little more, but in the end, as much as I cut away and pick away, I think I'm not really losing any money that way. All right, we also have to have a fourth a cup of milk. Try to get all this ready before I cut this chicken. And you can always use this recipe if you want to take a whole chicken, you want to be adventurous and take a whole chicken and cut up a whole chicken. You can do that. You just have to increase your cooking time by a little bit more. Uh, bone in chicken usually takes about an hour to fix, an hour to cook. Um, but other than that, you know, super easy. You can change this out however you like it. And I'm going to have to get a different bowl. This is going to take, once we butterfly this, this will take about 20 minutes to cook. this up really quick and if you notice the pieces of the chicken they do tend to be a little bit smaller and I have found that the Gerber chicken I don't know why um, when you when you bake it it doesn't seem to take as long as some of the other chicken but part of that is because it is thinner all right Let's stick those down in there as I go we may require a little more milk tonight just because of how much, but I do promise you the taste is excellent. We had several people sample it before a uh, cooking class and uh, really liked it. 
try to come up with things just a little bit different in our week. But chicken is a pretty big staple, you know, in most households. Uh, it's very economical, very good for you. Okay. I think I'm just gonna leave that other pack off. I think this will be just, the reason I'm having this, um, this is actually about a three and a half ounce to four ounce portion. Um, it makes a very nice portion and it's actually, it's, a, it's kind of a, an illusion with your eyes. You think you're still eating a large piece of chicken, but you're actually eating a smaller portion and you don't really know it. Your mind doesn't, doesn't take that in when you start to eat it. So, we're, uh, we're actually doing that a lot for the HCG diet plan. I don't know if any of you all are familiar with it, um, that we cut, those up, we cut the chicken up in, the, in that manner for that diet plan. Okay, and I'm just dredging this chicken in our rosemary and flour mix. Of course, this is a lot of chicken. This is quite a bit of chicken. Um, yeah, this is actually two pounds of chicken. So you need a pound and a quarter, or you can buy less. You don't have to buy a you know, whole amount. You can buy a small pack of chicken breast. And of course, if you don't want to have them, that's okay too. Like I said, you can even use bone-in chicken. This is just a great little uh, chicken and it's not fried, so it's very good for you. This is something very nice when you have company come over. They think you've spent a lot of time and you've not spent any time in the kitchen. I always like recipes like that. We uh, have some friends that we meet with uh, about once a month and get together and I'm always trying to find something new, something that's easy and quick and inexpensive to make. And uh, this is a great little uh, dinner idea. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get them all in there. Well, we're almost through February. Can you believe it? I thought the snow might have prevented us from coming today, but luckily it all melted off. And was there much snow here this morning? I got here at 9.30 and it didn't look like there was much in town. Where do you live? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I live in Mount Carmel and we've got, we got quite a little bit. I mean, the. There was a few slick spots, but uh, they had done a good job this morning. Of course, city schools were out of school today, so they were out for President's Day, so it all worked out, and, and uh, they didn't have to miss a day of school. All right, let me just pop that in the oven. And we are, cook, we are going to cook this at 425. Like I said, about 20 minutes. We've got quite a bit in there, so I'm going to...